Little Kids First Big Book of Birds, National Geographic Kids. Little Kids First Big Book of Birds by Catherine D. Hughes. We have the contents. Introduction. This book introduces readers to the world of birds. It answers questions that range from what makes an animal a bird, and do all birds fly, and why do ostriches have such long legs, and how does a woodpecker find food? The first chapter introduces the topic of birds. Each of the next four chapters features birds that illustrate particular traits or behaviors that young readers can easily relate to. National Geographic Little Kids' bit, first big book of birds is divided into five chapters. Chapter one. Chapter one begins with a big, with the book. Chapter one begins the book with a look at what makes an animal a bird, as well as birds' overall characteristics. Photographs and text com combine to tell the story of feathers, beaks, and feet. Types of flight are introduced, along with explanations of our altricial birds, helpless when they hatch, versus precocial chicks, quite developed when they hatch and able to leave the nest. A typical bird illustrates the main anatomy with calutes to label and explain each part. A fun photo game that reinforces topics in the chapter wraps up with each subsequent chapter. Chapter two, charms readers with favorites among birds and the different ways they get around. Flyers, runners, and swimmers. Some that fly and others do not. Chapter three, introduces a few birds world show, show offs. The birds on these pages wow the reader with the ways they talk using songs, flashy colors, and spectacular dance moves. Chapter four examines a few of the intri intriguing nesting habits and building abilities of birds from social weavers, communal nests to a bower bird, elaborate stage decorations to a sneaky bird that doesn't build its own nest. These pages include examples of altri altricial birds that need weeks in their nest before they can fly. Readers also meet precocial chicks, such as wood ducklings, that bounce out of their nest within hours of hatching. Chapter five wraps up the main section of the book with a look of some of the different ways birds eat. Meat eaters, fruit lovers, insect chasers, and nectar sippers bring readers to the end of the book. How to use this book. Colorful photographs illustrate each spread and support the text. Galleries showcase the diversity of related species for several featured birds. Back boxes. For each featured species, give young readers a quick overview of the bird, including range, diet, size, compared with a five-year-old child's hand or height, depending on the size of the bird and the facts of its young. Interactive questions in each section encourage conversation related to the topic. A game at the end of the chapter reinforces concept covered in that section. For more parents, in the back of the book offers parent tips that include fun activities that relate to birds and a helpful glossary. Chapter one, bird basics. Blue and yellow macaw. About 10,000 different species or kinds of birds fly, swim, and walk around on planet Earth. In this chapter, discover what makes an animal a bird. Feathers. All birds have feathers. Birds are animals. Other kinds of animals include mammals, insects, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and more. Let's take a look at what makes an animal a bird. No other kind of animal has feathers, so any animal with feathers is a bird. Birds' feathers come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. They help birds fly, stay warm, and keep dry. Different kinds of birds have different kinds of feathers. The way the feathers work depends on what the bird needs them to do. <clears throat> beaks. All birds have beaks. You can tell a lot what a bird eats by looking at its beak. Beaks are also called bills. Here are a few examples of many kinds of beaks birds have. You'll discover even more as you read through this book. <clears throat> a black skimmer uses its longer lower bill to skim food into its mouth as it flies just above the surface of water. 
A long skinny beak helps the collared sunbird reach into the flowers to sip nectar, a sweet juice inside. A great spotted woodpecker that pecks wood to find insects has a strong pointed beak. Ball eagles have sharp hooked beaks that rip pieces of meat from the animals they eat. <clears throat> eggs and chicks. All birds hatch from eggs. Black naped monarch. Many kinds of birds are not able to do much of anything when they hatch from their eggs. They do not have many feathers. They need their parents to keep them warm, feed them, and protect them. This kind of helpless chick is called an altricial. Excuse me, altricial. Other kinds of birds are more independent when they hatch. They have feathers and can walk around. Some can even swim. These kinds of chicks are called precocial. Excuse me, precocial. Eventually, a young bird fledges, which is when it can survive outside the nest. Once a fledging can leave the nest, it often still needs help from its parents, but soon will be able to make it on its own. We have a mute swan and a snowy owl. Flying. All birds have wings and most birds can fly. You probably see a lot of flying birds every time you go outside or look out of the window. Flying birds use their wings to get from one place to another. Some birds are super flyers. One extraordinary bird, flying bird is the wandering albatross. Its wingspan measuring from wingtip to wingtip is a little more than 11 feet. That's 3.3 meters long. Wow, that means a wandering albatross could stretch its wings from one end of a small car to the other. This albatross has the longest wingspan of any bird. It spends most of its life flying over the ocean. So this is the wandering albatross. The chimney swift can sleep while flying. The bar-tailed godwit can fly from Alaska and the United States all the way to New Zealand without stopping. And the Arctic tern flies 44,000 miles, that's 70,800 kilometers every year. Bird watching. Lots of people enjoy bird watching. They are called birders and their hobby is called birding. Binoculars help a birder see birds by making them look a lot closer than they are. A bird that looks like this without binoculars looks like this through binoculars. When you can look at birds up close, here are some things you'll be able to see. Head, neck, chest, belly, foot, leg, tail, wing, throat, chin, beak. Birds can tell you a lot, birds feet can tell you a lot about how they live. Ducks and other swimmers have webbed feet. Ostriches and other birds that do not fly have strong toes and claws. Birds that spend a lot of time in trees have feet that can hold onto branches. And birds that hunt have big claws called talons that they use to grab animals they hunt. Chapter two, flyers, runners, and swimmers. Most birds fly, some cannot. Some birds are expert swimmers and divers. In this chapter, you will read about how different birds get around. These are emperor penguin chicks. Lorikeets have tongues like brush, with brush-like tips that help them gather nectar and pollen from flowers. So here's some facts. Home, rainforests, woods, plantations, and city areas with trees in parts of Australia. Food, nectar, pollen, fruits, seeds, insects. Eggs, white, two to three at a time. Chicks, altricial, fledge at, at eight weeks. And here's the size. Think about your hand. Ooh, as big as that bird. <clears throat> the rainbow lorikeet. Big groups of these brightly colored birds fly around together. Rainbow lorikeets are a kind of parrot. The birds often travel together in groups called flocks. All those lorikeets together can make a lot of noise. They shriek, squawk, chatter, and twitter. When the birds gather in trees to eat, they blend in with the, their leaves and flowers around them. Their bright colors help them hide in plain sight. Have you ever seen a parrot? 
there are more than 350 species of parrots. Peregrine falcon. This bird is the fastest moving animal in the world. Peregrine falcons are hunting birds. As they soar through the air, peregrines hunt for smaller birds to eat. When the bird spots its prey, such as a pigeon or duck, it quickly zooms down to catch it. Here are some facts. Homes, cities, and countrysides often perching on high buildings or trees on every continent except Antarctica. Food, mainly birds, some other animals, bats, rabbits, rodents, and sometimes insects, reptiles, and fish. Eggs, milky white to brown with brown, red, or purple spots, usually three or four at a time. Chicks, altricial, altricial fledge at 35 to 42 days. And this is their size. Female peregrine falcons are bigger than males. Can you think of any mammals, which are usually furry animals that are hunters? A peregrine falcon's fast dive down through the air is called a stoop. The hunter can reach a speed up to 155 miles an hour, 250 kilometers per hour in its stoop. That's as fast as a high-speed train. A peregrine's nest is a simple scrapped scraped away spot on a cliff or a building. Sometimes they make a nest on the ground or in a hollow, in a tree hollow. Ruby-throated hummingbird. This tiny bird is an expert flyer. The ruby-throated hummingbird can flap its wings 53 times in one second. Facts. Home is woodlands, gardens, orchards, and fields in eastern North America. Winters, North, um, winters in dry open areas in most of Central America. Food. Mostly flower nectar, also tiny insects and spiders. Eggs. White, usually two at a time. Chicks. Altricial. Fledge at about 20 days. And this is their size. Hummingbirds can fly backward and forward, and they can hover and, or stay in one place in the air. This amazing flying helps the birds get to flowers so they can drink nectar, a sugary sweet liquid inside of flowers. One hummingbird might visit up to 2,000 flowers each day to drink nectar. When it gets to a flower, which is often red or orange, the bird sticks its long beak inside. Then it uses its long tongue to reach the nectar. There are many species of hummingbirds. The ruby-throated lives in more places than any other kind. This species of hummingbird is one, only one that nests in the eastern United States. What do you do with your tongue? There are more than 350 different type species of hummingbirds around the world. Here are just a few. Booted racket tail, violet set sap brewing, Rufus hummingbird, long-tailed slith, black-throated mango, rufous-tailed hummingbird, violet-tailed slith, toofted coet, coquet, ostrich. This bird, the biggest in the world, cannot fly. Male ostriches make a loud booming sound to warn other ostriches of danger. Ostriches are tall and weigh a lot. They cannot fly, but they can run faster than any other bird. 44 miles an hour, that's 70 kilometers per hour. That's speedier than the fastest human runner. An ostrich has two toes. One is a tough, strong toe with a long claw. It helps the ostrich grip the ground to run fast. An ostrich has such a strong kick that it can kill a lion with their toes. Facts. Dry open areas and woodland in much of Africa. Food. Grass, seeds, leaves, flowers, fruits, roots. Eggs. White. Up to 11 at a time. Chicks. Precocial. Leave. Nest at three days old. Fledge at about four months. And here's their size. How many toes do you have on each foot? How many do you have all together? Ostriches have the largest eyes of any land animal. One ostrich eyeball is almost as big as a baseball. 
about 24 chicken eggs would fit inside one ostrich egg. An ostrich nest is scraped area is a scraped area on the ground. Ostriches live in flocks and share nests. One nest can have as many as 60 eggs in it. 